guys, alright, so, um, yeah, I guess today I really wanted to talk to you guys about, um, something that I kind of think is very, very different to, at least in my home country, to Japan, and that is kind of like the rituals or like kind of process, um, and ceremonies about starting like a new school kind of levels, I guess, more than school year. Um, yes, yeah, so that's kind of like entrance ceremonies, which I think, you know, I guess it's very, very different in Japan from what I've experienced. And I've only really been to entrance ceremonies for like um, Ichinensei or like grade ones into like elementary school. And also uh, I've been to two of the like um, kindergartners going up into like their first year of kindergarten. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, I guess, really, really different to kind of what happens for your first couple of years in school um, back home. So I'm just kind of curious as to see, have a chat to you guys and just kind of share what I've experienced and, yeah, kind of see what you guys um, have done in your own, like, countries and your own experiences. So, yeah, I guess, um, I guess entrance ceremonies in Japan are very, very... They're very formal, um, on the most part, and it just kind of seems like a very formal but nice way to, like, welcome the new students, um, to the school and to the community more so than anything else. And also, I feel like a lot of it is aimed at parents. Um, it's welcoming them into the community, and you really start to notice, especially if, I think if you've had anything to do with, like, the Parent Teacher Association over here, um, that's a really, really big part of, especially, like, public elementary schools and things like that. Um, so yeah, in some part it's almost not just welcoming the child into the school, but also, um, you know, welcoming them, welc that I can't speak this morning, sorry guys, um, welcoming their parents into like that school community as well for like the duration of um, their education at that particular school. And I guess also it's, I guess that particular community is something that kind of extends almost. Um, so you'll find a lot of the kids that live in a, in the same neighbourhood will all go to school together. Um, a lot of the time the schools will be actually like the venue for a lot of like community activities and events. Um, yeah, it's like, it's a really different kind of like focus and feel I think um, and you'll also find that like a lot of the elementary schools will actually feed into like the junior highs and the junior highs um, feed into oh not so much the high school I guess um, so that community is going to be like a big part of those kids lives in the long run um, if it's not already so yeah I guess the the entrance ceremony so usually you'll have like all the teachers will be there they'll um, all be wearing suits which is kind of a rare thing at least um with um, elementary school teachers, I noticed a lot wear like sports gear, which makes a lot of sense, but they'll all be in full suits. Um, a lot of parents will, a lot of the um, mothers will actually wear like kimono. Um, and yeah, and it's just usually there's like kind of a presentation. I think the one I went to, there was a presentation from the grade twos that. Like, so the kids that were actually going up into grade two. And, um, yeah, it was just a chance for, like, the grade ones to, like, they go up on stage. They take a big class photo, usually under the sakura blossoms. Um, and, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's so different from... We didn't have anything really formal um, back home like that. I think, you know, the most formal we got was standing out in the front garden um, in the new school uniforms with the new school bags every year, getting a, you know, photo taken by mum. But, um, <laughs> not so formal. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a really, really different thing. And it's something that's kind of celebrated. And I, I guess, you know, especially seeing how big of a deal, like, you know, starting school and going into school, it's not just a big deal for kids. It's a big deal for parents as well. Um, I've just, yeah, from what I've seen, you know, parents also kind of need to celebrate that kind of milestone and, you know, getting their kids there and um, that kind of step into life, I think it, it really helps. And the kids also love it too. So, yeah, I guess I know, it's just something really, really different. And, yeah, as I said, I kind of um, – I actually had over the weekend of the Hanami, I actually had my school entrance ceremony. So, um, but, yeah, I just kind of wanted to explain that because I thought it was a little bit interesting and, um, yeah, just kind of share the general concept with you guys. Um, as I said, I haven't had any experience with, like, the um, junior high or high school or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys have experienced. Um, yeah, if you've got kids in Japan, if you um, have, you know, been working as a teacher and you've been invited to these, let me know um, what your experiences are because I'm really curious to see um, 
yeah, the different types and styles and things like that. So, yeah, I guess that's about it for this video. Um, yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys like that. As always, don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment in the comment section below. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys very, very soon. And until then, see you later. Bye. Thank you.